Welcome back to Pickwick Lake on the Tennessee River. We'll get right back into championship coverage with our day one leaders, Corey Neese and Nick Hatfield, fishing for Greenville, Tennessee's Tusculum College. Three, three three and a half pounder. Heck yeah. So that one helps the cause. We're already sitting better than we were yesterday. Just don't. There we go. That's more like it. They're starting to show up better. I mean, when we pulled in here, there was probably only like five or six fish on the graph, and now you go across them and there's 20. We got three little ones in there now, and now we got two decent ones, so. We catch three fives to go with it, you know, we'll have close to what we had to go, had yesterday. With a limit in the live well, Nick and Corey are getting it done. This is Dakota Ebear and Justin Seaton. They started the day less than two ounces behind the leaders. They've got four in the boat, but the big fish are wary. We got all the stuff we could do. I mean, we ain't gonna sit here and just drive in the ground. But I feel like you could get a big bite up here. And, and uh, that's what we need. So, I mean, all we need is one, one big bite to get the day started like that. Oh my God, I missed her. <laughs> See, there you go. I mean, that easy, there's, there's number five. Good one, so. Talk about, talk about barely got her too. I mean, that hook hole's right there. How's it feel to have number five in the boat? It takes off a little pressure, but they're still entirely way too small. Um, Number five is going on number five. Oh. oh my God, I smell burgers. Burgers sound delicious. Oh my goodness. A good cheeseburger right now? Like homemade one that's got the cheese melted on it and a toasted bun on the grill? This is Mitchell Jennings and Cole Bertishaw fishing for Auburn University. They're the 2016 defending champions, and they're in position to do it again. Uh, we were sitting in fifth place coming into today, and uh, we got down to this spot. I think we hit one more spot first, didn't catch a fish, and we came down here uh, this morning. First fish of the day yep. was a four. First fish of the day was a four and a half, and then it's been, it got really good around probably 9.30. I think we probably caught 50 fish off of it, but it's been kind of slow after that. But. About an hour ago, I caught another four, so. Ain't much else we can do. We just need a couple more big ones. There's one. Got one? Yeah, pretty small. No, no, I mean, they're like small, though. The small jaws. I don't see them anywhere. Is they small still? Yeah. Small jaw. Jumbo. We've probably caught 30 this size today. It's a pretty fish though. We ain't gonna need him. As the day heats up, so does the action. Back on the University of North Alabama, Pennington and McCarty started the day in third. They've already put four into the live well, and without a doubt, this will be number five. The UNA has a lot on the line this week. In addition to the championship, they're also trying to make up some ground in the points race for the Cabela's School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Better do what you want. That's scary there. Five of them. Five of them. Pennington and McCarty are making a run at it. Hey, we'd really like to thank all of you for your part in making the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series the best collegiate series in the country. And remember, if you get a good shot on the water, post it up. Hashtag WeAreCollegiateBass.